look so cute. Have you ever wondered how they got here? When I was little, I thought that maybe they walked. Uh, but then I went to school and learned that mountains don't have legs. The actual events that led to these mountains being here aren't quite as cool as mountain sprouting legs. Unless you're really into geology, but like, only nerds like rocks, am I right? So before we dive in, here's a couple of things that you should know. The earth is covered in tectonic plates. No, not that kind of plate. But these plates are constantly moving around, causing continents to collide. When these continents collide, they often build mountains. This mountain building event is called orogeny. In the next few minutes, I'm going to cover the orogenies that built the Appalachian Mountains. The Taconic Orogeny, the Acadian Orogeny, and the Allegheny Orogeny. The Taconic Origin built the mountains in and around New York. Around 450 million years ago, a volcanic island arc hit the coast of Laurentia, the pre-North American continent. Here, you can see the volcanic arc sliding on top of Laurentia and squishing into mountains over 100 million years. If you're a fan of looking at rocks, here is a shot of some taconic folding, courtesy of at Glaciogenic on Instagram. This shot was taken in Vermont. 325 million years ago, the Iapetus Ocean finally closed when Laurentia and Gondwana collided at breakneck tectonic speeds, or really slow to our eyes. When this happened, the mountains from Alabama to New England were formed. Because so much of Appalachia was formed during this collision, many people refer to this origin as the Appalachian origin. However, its birth certificate name is the Alleghenian origin. Here's some of the mountains in Maine from Acadia National Park. At the birth of the Appalachians, they probably looked much more like the present day Himalayas than their current selves. Over time, weathering and erosion have worn them down to what we see today. The process that built most of the Appalachians was an overthrust fault, Gondwana being smushed on top of Laurentia. This process has little to no strike-slip action, which makes it more similar to the present-day Himalayan mountain buildings than to mountain building events during the Paleozoic era. Isn't that something? 